Hey guys, it's Infinite. Today we're playing some more NHL 11. It's another episode of an epic way to end a game. And um, I apologize in advance for all you guys who are here for Call of Duty. Um, I've just really been enjoying playing NHL recently. And um, the reason I am apologizing now is because even though the view counts may not be that much different for the NHL compared to the Call of Duty, the comments, first of all, I don't get any comments on my NHL videos and I get no likes. So I can tell that you guys are favoring the Call of Duty stuff, which is cool. Like, the Call of Duty stuff isn't going to go away. I promise you. I'm going to probably be switching off NHL and Call of Duty every other day. And here, I don't know what I paused it for. I guess I was talking to my mom or something. But um, as you guys see looking at the clock, I did start this one a little late. I realized, like, shit, the third period just started and um, I'm not recording this. And there's a potential for some crazy comeback here. So I just got into that. But, um. Yeah, so this series, I've been really enjoying it, and I don't know if you guys if you guys can relate or not, but playing sports games and making ridiculous comebacks, especially when you feel like you accomplished it in a fair way. Like I said in NHL, I feel like the, the AI is really, really well done. So when I score, I feel like I really had to work for that and not like just get like a cheap play to work, like like in Madden or something. So when you come back from like one nothing against Detroit, which is a great team. It just feels really, really, really good. So, I wish you guys could enjoy these a little bit more like I do making them. But, you know what? It's understandable because I've I've built a Call of Duty channel. So, look at that goal. I deked the shit out of him. <laughs> but, on today's topic. So, I don't have much time. I'm actually, it's only a six minute video, so I better get going. So, obviously, as you guys know... I entered into March Madness, obviously didn't make the 64, and as I look back to that video, I think I did a good job with it, but I could have done something better. Seeing other entries, I um, I could have done something a little different, and I regret that a little bit, but I'm not here about to talk about how I didn't get in. Oh, look at that goal! <laughs> but what I'm here to talk about is what I've been seeing, kind of uh, reflect on the entries I've been seeing. Uh, people who've been winning, losing, and all that stuff. So, I'm going to talk about this very broadly. I don't want to get into any specific names. A, because there's a slim chance they might watch this video. And B, above all, I couldn't tell you 90% of the names of the people in here. So, um, first thing I've noticed, I feel like big names, with, with the exception of a few, aren't putting their heart in it completely and aren't trying to be someone they're not to win it. So um, I really, I really like that. And some people, like um, obviously, Gold Glove's probably not gonna watch this video. I feel like Gold Glove purposely let his guy win just to give back to a smaller channel, which I really appreciate. I really think that's a, that was a great thing to do for other people. And someone like Sam Five Thousand put up a great gameplay, great commentary, but didn't try to do something that he was not. And um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are trying a little too hard, which is not bad. The the, the complete try hard videos, I'm really enjoying. And um, even if it's not something they bring to their channel every day, even if it's something that if you subscribe, you'll never see again, nonetheless, it's a great job and uh, they're doing a great job with the entries and stuff like that. But I'd have to say anywhere from 20, 30% of the videos, I feel like some of the commentary, the people who are doing like a style like I do, gameplay, good gameplay and commentary, just simple stuff. Oh, I feel like a lot of them aren't doing that great of a job. Not a lot. Like I said, 20%, 30%. But um, you guys let me know in the comments below what you think, if anyone even watches this video. But I just feel like I feel like some of the people just aren't worthy of being in there. I feel like, all right, so you got the people who are way at the top. And right now I'm putting my hand up. Obviously I'm retarded. You guys can't see that. But you got those people who are way at the top. And they're so far ahead of everyone else. Then you have the people who are great at commentary, and they're doing something that's real. Like, they're doing something you see every day on their channel. Am I going to score again here? Nope, tripped. But, um, so you have that, and then you have that 20-30% I'm talking about that I just don't even see how they're in this competition. And, um, it, 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 it just kind of, it kind of bothered me a little bit because, um, at first I saw a lot of, a lot of high-quality stuff. And I'm not just saying commentary. I'm saying production value a lot of high quality stuff that i couldn't even think about doing because a i'm 
way too lazy, and B, I'm not into like that whole, it doesn't interest me. So, um, I noticed those videos, and I was like, wow, these guys are blowing me away with stuff like that. But then, there's a few of these that, like, the gameplay wasn't even, like, Market J worthy, and the commentary was lackluster, in my opinion. So, um, that bothered me a little bit, but overall, I'm enjoying the tournament. And you know what? Just so you guys know that I'm talking about March Madness, maybe instead of labeling this NHL epic way to end a game, I'll label it something relating to March Madness. And here, I just they just they scored. But you know what? I didn't really care what it was for, for one at this point. And as you guys just witnessed, if you were paying attention at all to this gameplay, I ran away with the game. I scored three goals. And I don't know if you noticed when I paused it, but I only had five shots going into this period. So... Great job. Steven Stamkos is a great player, and he was a big reason that I won this game. All right, guys, so final score, 4-2. I won 4-2. Four, I, four I was the Lightning, and they were the Red Wings, and I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, see you later.